Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So today we are going to be wrapping the quarter panel on the Toyota Supra that we've been working on for the past couple of days. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the quarter panel and pretty much show you guys exactly what we'll be doing because we do need to do some sanding. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you guys can see the corner where the trunk and the quarter panel actually meet, um, the paint is already breaking off, meaning that it's already loose. So we will be sanding this area. Um, I contacted the owner just to go ahead and let him know because if I go ahead and wrap with it and I end up lifting it back up, the paint could just lift up more and that's something that we don't want. So we end up giving it a light sand, but other than that, this will be the only spot that will be sanded on the quarter panel. So as far as the quarter panel, this will be the only spot that's actually going to end up uh, getting sanded. But as far as the front bumper, we do have to do some sanding on the front bumper, but that will probably be left for tomorrow. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get the sandpaper real quick. Um, I'll set you guys up a tripod, we'll start sanding this. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and give it a final wipe down and we're going to start wrapping. All right guys, so I went ahead and blended in the quarter panel. Um, other than that, I, went, I did mask off the windows because I will be putting my blade on the rubber trims to go ahead and trim it. And then from there, I will be tucking it. And then obviously that is from the door. And also on the rear bumper, I did happen to go ahead and loosen it so you guys can see the gap. So since we're working with the nozzle tech, it is a little bit thicker, so I just needed a little bit of room to go ahead and um, pretty much tuck everything. So that's just loosened up. And then as far as the rear bumper, we will not be removing that. And then I also did remove the uh, gas tank just to go ahead and get everything in there. So this way when the, um, the gas tank cap or whatever it is, it's on, everything blends in nice and clean. So now that all of my prep and pretty much everything else is finished, I'm going to go ahead and give it one final wipe down. From there, I'm gonna set you guys up on tripod and we're going to go ahead and knock this one out. All right guys, so I just laid the uh, quarter panel. My boy Steven, shout out to my boy for helping me. Um, quarter panel's laid, so as you guys can see, it's a very, very big piece. Goes all the way and wraps around the top of the car down to this side. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, to, go ahead and cut out where the uh, trunk is, just so we don't get no dirt and stuff like that underneath the vinyl. But And then from there, we do have to go ahead and pull off the cap too. So I'm gonna set you guys back up on tripod and we're going to go ahead and get started. And then my boy did bring his GoPro, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put that on my head and see if we get like a POV style for you guys. But yeah, let's get it. All right guys, so basically what I did with my finger right now was just I went ahead and traced everything out or I went ahead and traced the trunk out. So this way when I trim, I kind of have like a guideline so you guys can see where I need to trim at. Does it look good? So now from here, we're going to go ahead and take off the cap. I'm going to go ahead and pull from this corner. And before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and come up, uh, cut out my wheel.
Okay, you guys, so I ended up getting a crease right here towards the bottom of the quarter panel, which is why I ended up picking the vinyl back up and reheating it. Um, in this case, if I were to be working with 3M and or Avery, um, I would have gotten an adhesive line right here just because I squeegeed it, I picked it back up, I added more heat, and I stretched it back down. So if I didn't if I didn't want to get that adhesive line, this is if I were to be working with 3M or Avery, I would pick up a majority of this quarter panel, reheat it back to its original state, let the vinyl cure, and then from there, I would go ahead and reheat it and then glass the whole quarter panel and start squeegeeing. But as I said, in this case, we're working with a Nozotech. So a Nozotech is super good with adhesive lines, meaning that it's very hard to get them. So before I actually remove the remaining of the backing paper from the vinyl, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the wheel wheel. So what this is going to allow you to do is glass each side of the quarter panel separately, meaning that if I were to glass the right side of the quarter panel, it's not going to lift up the left side of the quarter panel. So um, a majority of the time this will work. Not only that, but this is also going to eliminate any chances of any type of dirt, debris, rocks, anything like that getting caused or stuck underneath the vinyl. <music> So what I'm doing right here where the window and the quarter panel actually meet is I'm causing a relief cut. So now what this is going to allow me to do, so you guys can see I'm actually glassing the top of the roof without lifting again the quarter panel or anything near the bottom of the window. Um, not only that, this is also going to give me control from everything from the middle of the window to the bottom of the quarter panel. Meaning that if I need to go ahead and glass it, I'm able to go ahead and pick it up from those two corners without lifting up the roof. <music> Alright guys, so right now I'm going to go ahead and glass the majority of the quarter panel, but not all of it. Um, basically, my main goal right here is just to go ahead and pretty much glass the majority of where the window and the quarter panel is because right there, there's actually an indention that has to be pushed in. So um, right here, I'm not going to be feeding it in. I'm actually going to be using a palm technique, so you guys will see that very shortly. <music> So right here, you guys are going to go ahead and see me heat up the middle of the quarter panel. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to go ahead and push the vinyl in with my hands. So now you're able to go ahead and feed this up if you want to. But in my personal opinion, I think you guys would get multiple adhesive lines if you guys were to feed it up. Just because you're going to go ahead and uh, squeegee, heat, squeegee, heat, squeegee, heat. Um, the palm technique is going to allow me to get this done all in one shot and pretty much work my way from the back of the quarter panel all the way up to the window area. And just like that, we have that part finished. So as you guys can see, it took me maybe about two to three seconds. Um, basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure all of the air is pushed out, just so that this way, when it's uh, I pull it out into the sun or I expose it to any type of heat, it doesn't bubble up. So you guys can see that I ended up looking in the reflection just to make sure.
so right here I'm going to go ahead and use the trunk as a guideline and um, basically I'm going to go ahead and use this trunk as a guideline throughout the whole quarter panel and that'll give me about a half inch or so to go ahead and tuck once I lift up the trunk. So now you guys when it comes to trimming you guys want to definitely make sure to take your time. Um, this is something you guys cannot rush. Anybody can squeegee, anybody can vinyl wrap to be honest but at the end of the day it all comes down to detail so make sure you guys take your guys' time. <music> Alright guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually trimming out the uh, back of the quarter panel and what I'm using is the rear bumper. So since I loosened up the rear bumper, it caused a gap for me to go ahead and actually use it as a guideline. And then from there I'm able to go ahead and tuck the remaining of the vinyl. All right guys, so right here, um, I didn't need to take the vinyl all the way in, but I just did. The Super actually has a mud flap or a mud guard that sits right there. So it's just going to ensure me that later down the road, the quarter panel is not going to lift or anything like that. Alright you guys, so this was the hardest piece on uh, doing the quarter panel and it was actually trimming and tucking everything on the window sides. So it took me about 30 to 40 minutes on each side, but the main concern was actually taking the vinyl under the window trim. Since the window trim was super stiff, it took me quite a bit to get everything tucked. Not only that, but I didn't want to do a flush cut. Um, I know quite a bit of shops actually like to just do flush cuts, but for me, um, I just don't like to because if it ever rains, there's always the possibility of the water getting trapped or stuck underneath the vinyl and then from there just end up ruining the quarter panel. And in this case, this quarter panel took me about three to four hours to do, so I definitely did not want to rewrap this piece. And yeah. <laughs> And just like that we have the quarter panel finished so this was one of the hardest quarter panels that I've ever wrapped um, just because I had to wrap it wheel to wheel meaning that I had to wrap it over the roof in one piece the total coverage on the vinyl was 11 feet so it was close to four yards when most quarter panels and um, doors are about three yards or so so 
Um, it's not that much of a difference, but like I said, the most pain in the ass part was actually wrapping it over the roof and making sure everything was um, in coverage. So when I actually wrapped this quarter panel, the exact measurements from the top of the quarter panel to the back of the quarter panel was about 58 inches. So I only had about an inch on each side to go ahead and play with. So it was kind of tricky, but at the end of the day, we ended up getting it done. It looks super good and yeah. All right, guys, so I just finished up the rear trunk to the Toyota Supra. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Um, I did have some minor, minor issues, but it was just with the adhesive lines, and I was able to go ahead and get those all out. As you guys can see, everything looks really nice and good. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty long because I did um, do like a DIY somewhat on this one. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one.